Welcome to the CyberWire's Career Notes podcast, brought to you by SpyCloud, transforming recaptured data to protect your business from cyber attacks. Hello, my name is Michael DeBolt. I'm the Chief Intelligence Officer at Intel 471. It's funny, and I'm not sure how many people know this about me, but um, they're going to know now. I grew up wanting to be an actor, actually. I went to a, a creative arts academy in elementary school, and I just had this idea of performing on stage. I also had other dreams of becoming a baseball player and stuff like that. Um, but cyber and technology was never really part of my mindset. But that's kind of how I grew up. I actually had a minor scholarship to go to Western Michigan University to do theater. And then 9-11 hit. And I quickly realized that uh, there was an opportunity for me to serve my country in a very meaningful way. And so I made the very natural uh, shift from wanting to become an actor to now going into the Marine Corps as an infantryman within a very short period of time. For whatever reason, looking back on it, I feel like my life purpose has really been all about kind of this relentless pursuit of justice. I've taken some of those things that I've learned and those qualities and, and have been able to translate them into what I do now. But first thing I did was go into the Marine Corps right after high school. And after that, fast forward I, two years, I was a drug care counselor for children who were abandoned by their parents. Fast forward to when I got out of the Marine Corps, I remember one day I was driving down the highway and I saw this billboard for Ferris State University. And they were advertising for a brand new degree called Information Security and Intelligence. It was a perfect combination of technology, security, and, and law enforcement. I ended up getting an emphasis on digital forensics and then did some uh, volunteer work at a local county sheriff's office. And then I ended up getting a position as a special agent with the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. I spent eight years as a special agent with NCIS working predominantly cyber espionage and cyber crime cases. I was actually the first one to uh, stand up an undercover operation targeting cyber criminals who were targeting the uh, Department of Defense. So a lot of effort and emphasis had been focused on tracking espionage actors. How are they stealing our secrets, the Russians and the Chinese? I realized there was a gap and no one was really looking at the, the cyber crime threat against the Department of Defense. Um, and then from there, I uh, went to Interpol in Singapore. And that's where I was the U.S. representative there and helped to build out and lead their cyber fusion center. And then... Ended up coming to Intel 471, which is where I'm at right now. So my philosophy as a leader is actually very simple. It's all about being a servant leader for me. I'm far from perfect in my pursuit of this, but you know, it's really centered around genuine humility. Maybe I don't know the answer or I don't have the best solution. And and that can be hard sometimes because you want to project this image of kind of having it all together, right? You, you want to instill trust in your team because when your people see that you're willing to admit you don't have it all together as a leader and that you're genuinely relying on them as individuals and also as a collective team, that they're more willing to step out of their comfort zone. I feel like whenever I've fallen in the past and made some serious mistakes is when I've tried to take it all on myself and try to kind of unilaterally make a decision. Of course, you know, being an executive, you have to make some t tough decisions, but that doesn't mean that you don't ask for input from your team and take a pause and just say, hang on a minute. There's some additional perspective here that I need in order to make this pretty big and tough decision. Again, realizing that, sure, it's going to be ultimately up to me to make the decision and I'll take that one, but I want to make sure that the decision is, if we can reach consensus, great, but if not, at least everyone's input has been genuinely heard and, and acknowledged.
I want to wake up every single day and do compelling work and have as much scale and impact as I possibly can with my two hands. And, and I have to realize that there's only so much that I can personally do. So if people can look back on me and say, you know, he was, he was the one that enabled me or equipped me to make an impact on, on my personal work and then that cascaded down to my team's work. And then it's just this multiplication of a number of different people acting with their own skills and their own abilities to make a change in this world. Then uh, if I can be that force multiplier and help with that, that would be a great result for me. This CyberWire Career Notes podcast is made possible by SpyCloud. Stolen data circulating on the criminal underground is fuel for data breaches, account takeover, ransomware attacks, and online fraud. Your biggest security risk might be a breach or a malware infection outside of your control that leaks the data of your users. SpyCloud constantly recaptures and analyzes new data from the criminal underground. Powering solutions that proactively protect over 2 billion employees and consumers worldwide. Learn how to make recaptured data your best defense at spycloud.com slash cyberwire. That's spycloud.com slash cyberwire.